so hello students in this video we are going to talk about heisenberg uncertainty principle so heisenberg uncertainty principle so in the um, uh, in the double slit experiment we have seen that we cannot cannot detect an electron which was passing through the slit without disturbing its state that we have already seen so we cannot detect an electron without observing its state so what heisenberg uncertainty principle is saying that like in classical mechanics like in classical mechanics we know that it is deterministic if we know the initial condition and the force acting on a particle then we can perfectly say the position and velocity of that particle with 100% accuracy in classical mechanics it is deterministic so if we know the initial condition or the force acting on the particle the position and velocity at some later time we can perfectly with 100% accuracy can predict so that is why it is called deterministic but can we do that in quantum mechanics also that is the question so we know already by the wave mechanics that particles or the quantum particles are delocalized right they are not localized like classical particles we don't know actually without disturbing the particles that why are they when you observe a particle you know the particularly that this is the position but then you disturb it disturb the state of the particle but otherwise you don't know which slit the particle is going through in the double slit experiment that means there is a it's not localized it's not localized like the classical particles so that is why this web make according to the web mechanics or the uh, quantum mechanics that the particles are not localized so there is a uncertainty as associated with the quantum particles and this is the uncertainty principle of the heisenberg where he stated that two complementary or canonical conjugate variable have associated uncertainty with them and that is like you can say in terms of position and momentum is delta x into delta px greater or equal to h cut by 2 so this is the minimum uncertainty associated with the measurement of these two variables simultaneously this is the minimum uncertain this is the minimum uncertainty when we are simultaneously measuring it so what that means if we simultaneously measure that x and px component we cannot 100% be accurate about the results but there will be some delta x and delta px uncertainty associated with the result so this also means if we say delta x tends to 0 that means x we know perfectly then delta px tends to infinity so the momentum uncertainty is huge in another word if you try to measure the position of a quantum particle 
then you also at the simultaneously at the same time you give the particle a huge momentum without giving a huge momentum you cannot determine the position of that particle perfectly in another way you without disturbing the state you cannot make, make the perfect measurement of any variable so this is in 1d in 3d there are two associated more relations with it that is delta y delta p y is also greater than h cut by 2 and delta z and delta p z is also greater than equal to h cut by 2 so this is the relation for position and momentum so we can understand that uh, like in classical mechanics if you if a car is moving if a car is moving we can fall we can fall light on it and we can measure its position and momentum without disturbing it without disturb but for quantum particle like electron generally this light what we want to see it what we call light it is of very high energy because the frequency is very high and the wavelength is very low so it is very high energy so when it falls on the electron it disturbs it disturbs the state of the electron so that's why uh, it's always we cannot know which state it was because when it disturbed it's in a new state so that is why is this uncertainty is associated with it and similarly there are other two conjugate variables are there and for them the uncertainty principle like energy and time is same h cut by 2 so what this means suppose you do a energy measurement you do a energy measurement of a system and you get some energy e prime right now if you do the next measurement within a time of delta t and you get e double prime so this difference between this e prime and e double prime so that delta e will be minimum will be equal to h cut by 2 delta t that will be the minimum it can be more but the minimum difference between these two will be h cut by 2 delta t so why this happens because when we measure then we perturb the system when we measure the energy of a system we actually perturb the system and it takes a large time for the system to come back to its initial state so it takes a large time for the system to come back to its initial state and if so delta t is large then we if if delta t is large then this e prime will be tends to e double prime but if delta t is small then there will be this minimum uncertainty associated with it so this is the uncertainty regarding energy and time and also the position and momentum i have explained it everything and i think there should not be any doubt about this uncertainty relation anymore why this uncertainty relation is coming because complete completely because of the quantum nature of the particle and when we try to measure them we send a very high energy observation uh, uh, rays or some kind of waves to observe them and they are also kind of wave and particle dual nature so they interfere with it so without disturbing them we cannot measure them so that is why this associated uncertainty is coming with them so i hope this is clear and uh, if there is any doubt let me know in the comment section